Hello, welcome to my first vlog of 2023. I will be working from home today. Currently, I'm focused mostly on self-reviews for performance and also uh, one-pagers for planning. Self-reviews at Meta are super, super involved. So I've written like 10 pages down and I've only worked there, worked here for like six months. So, <laughs> or I've been on the team for about six months. Anyways, just wanted to drop in and say hi real quick. I'm gonna get to work. I'm getting pretty hungry, so I'm gonna go pick up some Thai food for lunch. For the walk today, I'm wearing the mid-layer jacket and sweatpants from Graphene Nex. They're weather resistant and very warm given how lightweight they are thanks to the Graphene integrated fabric, making them perfect for Seattle weather and they have become a couple of my go-to pieces for errands and more. However, my favorite piece is their polo. The collar gives it a more business casual look while the smooth and cool fabric makes it perfect for working out. I usually work out immediately after work, and this polo allows me to avoid having to pack an extra shirt. Another thing I love about the polo is the fit. It's a slimmer fit that drapes nicely giving me a nice silhouette without being too snug. Okay, so I've wrapped up work for the day and I'm pretty tired right now. I thought I was going to go work out, but I think I'm going to go lay down for a little bit. Okay, so I'm not doing a full workout today, but I wanted to share an exercise that I learned through physical therapy. It's supposed to help address issues related to hip snapping and back snapping by strengthening the core. Before starting, you want to lay flat on the mat. Take a deep breath in and then breathe out aggressively through a small opening in your mouth, kind of like blowing through a straw. As you breathe out, you'll want to shrink your ribcage as much as possible. 
As you breathe in again, you'll want to keep your ribcage small while expanding the rest of your stomach. Repeat this about five times before you start the movement. The goal is to flatten your back against the mat as much as possible and to maintain that engagement throughout the movement. The movement itself is pretty simple as you can see. Just make sure to keep your leg engaged rather than letting it hang and keep your back flat against the mat. The goal is to be able to do 15 to 18 reps with each leg without any leg or back discomfort. If you can't do this, that's okay. There's several progressions to this exercise, which I demonstrate. If you have issues with hip or back snapping, I hope you find this useful.